with the um, Lemon County Community Action Partnership um, is requesting your approval on the contract between the county and the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development for Community Services Block Grant. This is uh, for the 2018 year in the amount of $250,000. And this is an annual grant that they get in the same amount every year. It's used toward rental assistance for, for consumers, um, transportation passes, child care subsidies, and some is also used for staff salary and benefit reimbursement for the case managers. Okay. So we need a motion to uh, accept the grant. Yes. Um, second. All right, I have a motion and a second to accept the Community Action Partnership Grant uh, as uh, we've received uh, information uh, ahead of time. Are there any questions or comments concerning that grant? Hearing none, all those in favor of accepting the grant as presented indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The grant is approved. Okay, also for the Community Action Partnership, I have have uh, appointments and uh, reappointments and an appointment for the Community Action Partnership Advisory Board. The first would be a reappo would be reappointments uh, eligible for the, for those are Dennis Firestone, Wiley Parker, Brian Hoffman, and Scott Barry, all of whom have agreed to serve another term, which would take them to December thirty first, twenty twenty. So moved. Second. All right. I have a motion and a second to approve those reappointments of folks who have served on the board previously and uh, getting another uh, term. Uh, any questions or comments concerning those appointments? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the appointments as presented indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. All right, then uh, there's also a vacancy on the CAP Advisory Board and, it is a, and it's a public official uh, category and they're recommending that uh, Michael McKenna, who is the manager in Myerstown Borough, be appointed to fill that vacancy uh, that would take him to December 31st, 2019 in that position. I'll move to uh, have Mr. McKenna fill the unexpired term. Um, second that. All right, I have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Michael McKenna to the, uh, the remainder of that term. Uh, any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Okay, we've received uh, notice from the um, Visit Lebanon Valley Board of Directors that they are, they've re they are in receipt of two resignations from the board, one from Ray Millay, um, who has uh, submitted a letter saying that his job at Lebanon Broadcasting is just taking more of his time and can no longer serve, and also Stephen Summers from the Cornwall Iron Furnace, who is retiring from the furnace. So we accept those resignations. So moved. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second to accept those resignations, and uh, if I may just make a comment, both those gentlemen have served uh, well on uh, that board, and uh, certainly uh, Steve Summers is retiring after a long, uh, period of service to the Cornwall Iron Furnace, so uh, he's going to be missed in uh, both those uh, positions, but uh, so hearing that, uh, we have a motion and a second uh, to accept those resignations. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. All right, then I have a uh, bid on a repository property from the Tax Claim Bureau. Property is located at 21A Twin Maples Park in Jackson Township. Um, this was offered at upset tax sale for $1,005.44 on September 11th or 17. Did not sell. Was offered again at judicial sale for $794.88. No sale on December 11th. And we now have a bid from Weber Properties of 925 Noble Street, Lebanon for $1. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to accept that <clears throat> bid of one dollar for the property in question. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Okay, I have two liquid fuels applications uh, for county aid. The first being 
from the city of Lebanon uh, for a pro this is these are both their fixed allocations for 2018 this would be for use on street lights service and repairs project cost for that is 25,477 which also is their annual allocation to the city of Lebanon 25,477 so second I have a motion and a second for the liquid fuels request by the city uh, any questions or comments Hearing none, all those of, in favor of accepting that request indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Sorry, I probably could have combined these. The second one is for South Lebanon Township. For $10,000 project is to purchase ice control salt, and their allocation toward that would be 9463 So moved. Second. Motion and a second to accept that liquid fuels request. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Okay, and I have uh, from the assessment office, I have exemption requests for disabled veterans. The first being uh, uh, for David R. Watson of 192 Gable Drive in Myerstown, and the second for Gary Piatowski, Piatkowski, 246 Albright Road, Newmanstown, and uh, both of those have met the requirements for the disabled veteran exemption. I'll move to approve those exemptions. Second. I have a motion and a second to accept the two uh, veterans' requests for tax exemptions. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. And lastly, I have three requests for hotel tax grant funds <coughs> that I had distributed to you. I don't know if you're prepared for today to do those or not, but I. Uh, is there any What's chance we could get a, a presentation on them? Uh, at least on the one on the bicycles? I'm prepared to go. It's up to the board. I'm okay. I mean, uh, actually, uh, Pat Krebs uh, talked about this several times at the MPO meeting, so uh, you know, I, I feel comfortable. And she also included uh, information, yeah, in her packet, so I'm comfortable with it. So. I just had a couple of questions, so I was hoping that we could ask her to come in. You could still ask her. You could still ask her. Okay. Does that mean you want to hold off on that particular no. one? No, I should. No. Oh. So the, th the three that I have are uh, from the Lebanon County Historical Society. Um, they are requesting a project of $40,000 and requesting 30000 of that. And um, it's a sort of a list of things. They have fencing around the south portal. They have hillside trail clearing, uh, 2,100 feet of hillside trail clearing. They have a connection to the rail trail and fencing along the quarry. Bulletin board benches signage at both rail and trail entrances, and uh, additionally, com other repairs coming up are a garage dock replacement, a parking lot dock bank stabilization, and footbridge support beam replacement. Those are all things they seem to be sort of have in the. In the, on, along, on the side waiting for some costs on those but it, ultimately they're combining everything into one request for forty thousand dollars and asking thirty of that to become from the hotel tax fund. The second one I have is the Lebanon County 4-H Horse and Pony Club and um, they are looking to replace their the ring that they use for uh, equestrian activities at the Lebanon Fairgrounds and Expo and they attached a, a detailed letter and why they believe that would be a, a cost that they think should come from the hotel tax. The total project is $5,190. They're requesting $3,800. And then um, the last one, as Commissioner Witz mentioned, this is the Lebanon Valley Bicycle Coalition. They are uh, undertaking a project called <coughs> Drive with Care Campaign, where they would um, purchase billboard space and have a design for what their billboards would look like, including local bicyclists in the, in the billboard campaign. And they would, that's, it's, it's a total project cost of $30,000. However, they have in-kind services that they're putting toward it, working with backlit uh, advertising for development of the campaign. They've also sought sponsorships, partnerships, and other participants to help fund it. Um, and the preparation of media releases and associated events. 
So all total, their $30,000 project uh, is requesting $5,000 in hotel tax funds. Those are the three. Do you want us to consider those in total, or should we do them separately? You can do them as a list if you're... Uh, yeah, separately I would appreciate. Okay, okay. I'll, uh, we'll take them separately then. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the Historical Society's request? So. Are you okay with the full amount? Uh, it seems like reasonable requests of yeah, things that need done. So. I have a motion and a second to approve the request from the Historical Society to make those uh, changes at uh, Tunnel Hill Park. Uh, and the request is for $30,000. Uh, all those in favor of the request as presented indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. And then the, uh, the uh, what was the? 4-H Horse, Horse, and Pony Club. Horse and Pony Club for? $3,800. $3,800 for the horse ring. I move to approve. Second. Uh, and have a motion and a second to approve the uh, request of the uh, Pony Club for that. Uh, Grant. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. And then the last one for the Bicycle Coalition, uh, a $5,000 request. And that seems very reasonable considering the overall cost. Uh, do I have a motion? Go ahead once. I'll so move. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion to uh, uh, grant that $5,000 request for the uh, effort on the parts of the Bicycle Coalition. Uh, are there any questions or comments? Yes, I, I do. I mean, I, I would have preferred to ask Pat, but maybe you know the answers. Do you know if there's any connection uh, to Charles Lanza and this effort for the advertising? Charles Lanza? Yes. Is that Mario Lanza's? The no. um, the fellow who was coming in last week. Connection to the advertising. Yeah, because of the the bicycle accident. End of it, um, and then the whole thing at South Londonderry. Is there a connection there? Not that I'm aware of. I'm just I I don't well, know, and I, I wondered what. The I mean, would there was. be? Would, is there a concern that someone was struck on a bicycle? I think there is a concern, but I don't see. I, I don't know. I'm not aware, and I've spoken to Pat at. Uh, length about this. Uh, I'm not aware of a direct relationship between that accident and this request. They just obviously are looking for better uh, safety practices on the part of cyclists and motorists. So that's their effort, which I think is legitimate. Any other questions? Again, I, I, have, I have a couple of questions surrounding that, but I don't since you're not aware of it. No, that was never mentioned to me, Commissioner, so. I think, if I can address that, I think if you're referring to Mr. Lanza's video on YouTube where he talks about an accident, he, he was in a motocross accident. Okay, so it wasn't a bicycle. No. Okay. I, don't, I don't think there's anything no, at there's, all. I, there's no relationship between the thing that happened downstairs and this at all. I don't think Pat even he, knows he was, he's, a, he's a dirt bike, um, <coughs> yeah. you know, amateur dirt bike racer. Okay, so it wasn't a bicycle? No. Okay. I heard bike and thought it was a bicycle. Well, if you watched his video, he said another uh, motocross person landed on top of him, so that obviously right. had no relationship to an accident out in South Londonderry Township. Okay. All right. Any other questions or comments concerning the Bicycle Coalition's request for a hotel tax? Incidentally, if, you know, sometimes uh, folks might look at these and say, what's the relationship between these and tourism? And uh, just a few years ago, Pat and the Bicycle Coalition brought a group of folks in from, I think, from New York State, uh, spent uh, at least a week here, stayed in our hotels, and biked. Lebanon County and I think some of Berks County so uh, that opportunity is always here and I'm sure that we'll be uh, uh, making more of those efforts so with that said all those in favor of the uh, agreeing to the uh, grant for the bicycle coalition of $5,000 indicate by saying aye. aye aye opposed 
I, because I still have questions that I don't okay. think can be addressed you here wanna, today. You, you want to uh, vote against it, or would you like to abstain? I would like to abstain. That's okay. a good suggestion, because I, I'm just not right. ready to vote for right. it, because I don't have all my information. Motion is approved. Uh, two I, one abstention. Okay. Folks from the Visit Lebanon Valley, you're up. Right. You do you have anything else, Jamie, or is that it? That's it.